There are a lot of games I love to play when I go to an arcade. It's always a highlight for me when there's a light gun game like Area 51, Time Crisis, or even Lucky and Wild. There are just so many classics out there that are so much fun to play. One arcade light gun game though left a big impression on me because unlike many other of my favorites, this one wasn't a video game. And when I visited the strong National Museum of Play in Rochester, New York, they had it on display. And of course, the game I'm talking about is Quick and Crash by Namco. This modern take on the classic carnival shooting gallery game tests players' accuracy and reflexes. And let me tell you, it does not take it easy on you. You have 20 bullets to clear the four stages as quickly as possible. How fast you play and how many bullets you have left over when you're done determine your ranking. As you clear each stage, the game will tell you how your performance ranks against the last 100 players. Part of the thrill of playing is seeing how far you can climb up the ranking each time. And it doesn't take long to finish a game, probably about a minute, so you can easily play this with a group of friends all trying to top each other's best time. Like I did with my friend Brody. He's got his own channel called 8-Bit Brody that you can find in the description below. He beat my score every single time. We don't like Brody anymore. There's a clock counting up your time and it starts when you draw your gun. When you've downed all the targets, the timer stops and you have to holster your gun again to start your next round. The quicker you can draw and accurately shoot the targets, the better you will rank. The difficulty ramps up through the stages. It begins with one stationary target and progresses to double targets moving side to side. But what I always remembered the best about Quick and Crash was the final target on the very last stage. After you clear the two moving targets, a cup with a bullseye on it would appear right right in the dead center. This is where you really have to test your accuracy because if you don't get this right, you're not gonna see something very special. So why is the cup target so special? Well, it's because when you hit it, the cup explodes into several pieces. And then when the next player would play, it would be magically together again. When I saw this for the first time, I was stunned. It was one of the coolest physical effects I had ever seen in almost any arcade game. I thought for sure that there must be a lineup behind the machine of cups that would get destroyed one after another. But obviously, that's not really what was happening. The cup is hidden behind a black cover very quickly. And at the same time, a collection of pre-broken pieces are tossed into the air. The effect is so seamless that the first time I saw it, I thought I had actually broke the machine. This is a phenomenal arcade experience, but because of its size and complexity, I never thought you would be able to get this game at home. But Namco? Well, they found a way. Hidden inside the extras of Time Crisis 2 on the PlayStation 2, a complete digital recreation of Quick and Crash is included. All the footage you're seeing here was provided from SM Radis, whose channel you can find linked below. This version of the game has three additional modes along with a classic arcade mode. Each one has modified rules that add more variety to the gameplay. The graphics look close enough to the original, but in my opinion, it looks just a little bit too computer generated. One of the highlights of the physical machine was the realistic look destruction of the cup. In the video game version, well, it kind of looks fake and lacks the impact that the original one can offer. There's also the obvious lack of a holster since you're at home, and without that, the sudden pull up and fire technique is lost in translation. Despite all that though, if you've never played the game in arcades, this version is good enough a close experience that still can be enjoyed. Plus, you get Time Crisis 2 as well, which is still a very fun game to play. Quick and Crash as a video game is fine, but Quick and Crash as a physical arcade shooting gallery? That's the version I'd recommend you try out. The physical test of your aiming skills and reflexes in the arcade Quick and Crash is simply unmatched, and it's a fun way to have a little friendly competition with your friends and everybody else at the arcade. If you ever see this out in the wild, give it a shot, and you too might know the thrill of taking out that cup.